Aloha, and welcome to the Secret Art of Huna podcast, where I'll be sharing how to use Huna, the carefully guarded spiritual, energetic, and healing practices of the ancient Hawaiians, to help you transform those bits of your life that aren't working, to help you find your purpose, or maybe just to help you dump emotional baggage. I'm Dr. Jane Lewis, and 20 years ago, I was burnt out, depressed, unfulfilled, disappointed, directionless, and deeply, deeply miserable. Huna enabled me to change all that, and so I now share it with whoever wants to experience a more joyful, fulfilling life. I wanted to talk to you today about focus and uh, distraction as well. So I'm filming quite close to the hotel. It's early morning and people are, are, the workers are starting to do their thing and prepare the hotel for the day. So there will be a lot of distraction, a lot of noise. And my offer to you is to focus on this video and to focus on what I'm saying. So I'm going to talk to you today about focus and what the Hawaiians call hakala, which is expanded awareness. Why would you want to learn about expanded awareness? Well, there's a couple of things. One is that the expanded awareness state, the hakala state, engages the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system is the opposite of fight or flight. In fight or flight, we use the sympathetic nervous system. In the hakalau, the expanded awareness, we engage the parasympathetic nervous system, and that's the de-stress system. So if you want to de-stress quickly, this is definitely the place to go. Another reason why you'd want to be able to engage the expanded awareness state is because it's much easier to have more consciousness of what's going on around you. It was taught to the American military in Vietnam because it helped them stay safer. It's taught to advanced drivers on advanced driving courses because you're always aware of what's going on. And if you try this outside, it is just so cool. Try walking in a park, in a place when there's lots of trees. One client who I taught it to not too long ago, we will, I taught it to her outside and we went for a walk and she said to me, Oh my God, Jane, the trees are waving at me. So if you want the trees waving at you, this is the technique to do it. Now, it's also worth looking at why focus is important. Focus is important because we so easily get distracted, but energy flows where attention goes. And if your energy, if your attention is all dissipated and all over the place, that's what's going to happen with your energy. So it's going to be very difficult to achieve a goal, to achieve any one thing. Energy flows where attention goes. So this ability to focus in a calm, centered, relaxed way is incredibly useful, both for everyday life, for de-stress, and for manifestation. So here's how it goes. What you want to do is with your full foveal, full frontal vision, just focus up on a spot on the wall. Find a spot on the wall that you can really, really focus on. Full foveal and focus on it. As if it was the only thing in the world that you could possibly look at in this moment. And when you've got that focus, put your hands up beside your ears and just take them out slightly from your body and start to wiggle them and notice them in the periphery. Allow your vision to move into peripheral vision. What I used to call with the kids wraparound sunglasses vision. Just allow your vision to move into peripheral vision. Wobble your fingers and just start moving them backwards. And see how far backwards you can take your fingers before you can't see them anymore. Just take them as far back. Imagine you could see all the way around 360 degrees. And that's the state of expanded awareness. And now in that lovely, relaxed, calm state, noticing that it's really difficult to feel a negative emotion or to feel upset, bring your eyes down to normal level, bring your hands down, and just enjoy that sense of all-around awareness. This is the state you want to be in. This is the state that was known as the 
walking meditation of the kahunas. This was the state that the kahunas, the, the shamans, the, the, the wise men and women of Hawaii lived in permanently because it increased their consciousness. It helped them with connecting with spirit. It helped them to connect with the other realm and it helped them stay calm when everything else about them was falling into pieces. So focus and expanded awareness. When you focus, focus on what you want and focus in that expanded way so it's calm and centered and balanced. Enjoy and do go for a walk with trees and watch them wave at you. I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. If you want to bring about rapid transformation in your life, check out secretartofhuna.com where you can also download a free meditation to help you with self-forgiveness. You can also look out for Secret Art of Huna on social media such as Facebook and LinkedIn. Look forward to talking to you again very soon.